a shame the dried up oasis. I've got an idea. Oh wait. I've completely forgotten it. <laughs> uh let's see. Da, da, da. That's right. play a song of storms and see if we can't bring a little water to this desert. There we go. And it releases a whole bunch of red berries. Let's go and collect some. Yeah. I hear you can collect a red berry even though you don't need it. Yay. Alright, cool. Now that we're all geared up and we've got three fairies, definitely way more than we'll ever need. But, ah uh, well, might as well be a little OP. It's just good to feel powerful. So, yeah. Alright, now let's actually begin the spirit temple. <clears throat> hey, what did this, uh, what did this one ever say? If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. Power of silver? Huh. Interesting. Alright, so... Hey! Who are you? I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? Um... I I've come to see the temple. Here's the kid. The temple's no place for kids. Um, well, I guess, well, I am technically looking for the sages. A sage? I don't know anyone like that. Well, t I t in that case, t I don't know what I'm doing. You have nothing to do? What a good timing. Can you do me a favor, kid? Wait a second. I want to ask you first. You wouldn't even be wanting Ganondorf's followers, would you? I hate Ganondorf. Uh-huh. You've got guts. I think I like you. First of all, let me introduce you to myself. I am Naburu of the Gerudo. I'm a lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children, and he even killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. Even though our laws say that lone male Gerudo must become the king of the Gerudo, I'll never bow to such an evil man. By the way, what's your name, kid? They call me Link. Link? What kind of name is that? Well, anyway, I want to ask you a favor. What's the favor? Will you go through this tiny hole and get the treasure that's inside? Hmm, treasure from the temple? Alright. The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull very heavy things. I see. And that stone pillar said we need the power of silver to progress in the temple. Interesting. So, if I get these silver gauntlets, then I'll be able to move that big rock. Excellent. No, 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 kid. Don't even think about taking the treasure for yourself. Oh, uh, well, in that case, will you move the rock for me? I mean, if I'm doing this for you, you might as well do something for me. And since you're getting these gauntlets anyway, that's going to increase your strength, it shouldn't be that hard to move that big rock. S you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Silver gauntlets won't fit a kid like you if you try to equip them. I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Alright, Naburu. You've got a deal. Ganondorf and his minions are using the Spirit Temple as a hideout. Only the Silver Gauntlets will allow me to sneak into the Deep Temple. Once there, I'm going to steal all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. Hmm. Maybe we can split the treasure a little bit. I don't need much. Maybe, uh... 25 30 percent you can keep the rest and just keep in mind you're not going to be able to get there without me how about it will you do it i will thanks kid 
You and I, let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? If you can successfully get the silver gauntlets, I'll do something great for you. Alright, 30%. Let's do this. Okay, so she needs the silver gauntlets. I can do that. Ah, looks like there's going to be some troubles, but this is the last temple. So I didn't rightfully expect this to be easy. Ooh, fire keys, better switch shields. Do not want them to burn up my, my very flammable Deku shield. Alright, good. Now I've got this. Block that and destroy it. Now. Okay. And this Armos is really difficult to beat because uh, because it's really hard to get it in the back. Uh, wait, do I actually need bomb to do this? You know, let's try Deku nuts. It's not like I'm gonna use them. Come over here, just stab you in the back. Whoa! And get away! And get away! Get away! Get away! Uh, I guess you can't just stab them in the back normally. I could have sworn you could do that. Oh, well, I guess I'm thinking of Wind Waker. Fire keys, just deflame them. And there we go. Okay, so. Oh, cool. That opened. Now let's see what's through here. Just through a little hole here. Ah, oh, I see. I'm gonna need a small key to get through this door. Hmm. Right, let's see if there's any goodies inside there. Oh, there's a bomb. And how about this one? Uh, replacement Deku Nut. Okay. Alright. So, uh, something interesting I've uh, been thinking of. I I like games that have a progress bar. Now, it doesn't have to be technically a bar, but take a look at this game's progress bar. It, most Zelda games usually have two progress bars for both the acts. Uh, what I mean by a Zelda game having an act, like Child Link is Act 1 and Adult Link is Act 2. But here's the progress bar. Zelda tells you to get three spiritual stones, and here you can obviously see that there are three spaces in your inventory for three spiritual stones. So you can obviously see the progress bar of what you're doing, and once you get all three of these, you either know you're going to fight the final boss, or some big event is going to happen. In a Zelda game, you can usually assume that when you begin the game, the first things you collect are just the act one of the game, and uh, an event will happen in which you need to collect a new thing. The new thing in here is these, the uh, the, the spiritual, uh, the medallions. You can obviously see that there are six of them, and we're getting the sixth one now, so we know that we are going to be able to fight Ganondorf after we get the sixth one. There's a clear there's a clear progress bar. I was playing uh, Assassin's Creed 3 before, and there's really no such thing as a progress bar in that game. Oh, awesome. There's a skull tool over there, but I better light that fire. Let's see, and get my slingshot. There really is no such thing as a progress bar in that, so I did not... So, when I played that game, the ending kind of snuck up on me, and I really, I don't know, I didn't like it, because just coming back, it's like, oh, I'm at the end of the game now? Huh. Because there wasn't really a progress bar. I mean, there were, like, the sequences, but it wasn't super clear how far away I was, because I didn't know how many sequences there were. There was, like, 16 or something? I don't know. I, I like this game, because the closer you get to the end, the closer you feel to the end of the game end of the game just kind of sneaks up on you then it's like oh I guess I'm at the end of the game now I wasn't like prepared it wasn't built up and the end of the game feels a lot less cool so yeah I prefer a game like this and the progress bar is usually in the collectibles like uh, Mario Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga it's the the bean star pieces the Bean Star. I haven't said that in a while. Uh, as well as the, I forget what you collect at the beginning of the game, but at, as it as it comes down to it, the Bean Star pieces do become your your progress bar. Uh, some other games I've done. Uh, the 
in the Oracle games, you've got the elements of harmony or whatever they are. The, but you know, well, the dungeons are basically the progress bar. Once you've, uh, you know, once you've defeated all eight dungeons, then you've uh, made it to the end, and you can fight uh, the final bosses of those games, respectively. I, I was about to spoil them, but eh, probably not a good idea to do that if you haven't like played the game for yourself or at least seen my playthrough of it. Ah. I know how to do this. You have to go over there, and it goes around and hits the thing. Or not. Move back a little bit. Do not look onto the guy. He's just there to screw you up, like so. Alright. Come on, hit the thing. Uh, this is kind of annoying. Am I too far away now? It should not be this difficult. There we go, got it. Okay. But yeah, um, Yoshi's Island, I think it shows you clearly that there's eight worlds, and once you get uh, to the eighth world, you know it's the end, because it looks like the end. Also, on the map, you can see baby Luigi crying. Okay, this is a room that's very interesting and extremely breakable. Okay, you see that guy over there? We need to kill that guy to open this. Now, what we're supposed to do is hit this switch to light a fire over there. Then make our way across there, across all of these, get around him, and get to the other way, the other side. Because as you can see, he follows our every movement. Wherever we go, he will completely mirror us. And we need to lure him to that fire. But since this guy's weakness is fire, we have Din's fire. This optional, this optional item will make this room a hundred times easier. Because you can just burn him down there and then the door opens and puzzle solved. It wasn't even really a puzzle at that point. And it's way easier to do that. Doing it the right way is really difficult. But I like that, how there's a really difficult puzzle. Ooh, uh, Wallmaster. How there is a really difficult puzzle, but it has a really simple solution by use of an optional item. It's just, it's it's a neat touch. I don't know what else to say about it. All right, yeah, and get rid of this. There we go. Come on, take you out. Ah, it takes a lot of hits from the Cory sword. Oh, but at least he gives us a lot of a lot of money. All right, so just gotta collect all the silver rupees in here, and we'll be good to go. Hopefully. Uh, collecting the silver rupees just uh, knocks us down for the shortcut. We already did get the uh, the key, so we can just backtrack. But this is just easier. I'd prefer to just do the rupees and uh, do this. The lock on system in this game is weird. All right. So yeah, I prefer a game that has a progress bar. If you're, if the game doesn't have a progress bar, it just, I don't know, the ending can sneak up on you, and it's, it makes it extremely underwhelming and kind of puts a whole a damper on the entire game. Because I say, if the game has a great ending, then it really helps the game because that's the last thing you see, that's the last thing you remember about it. If you feel amazing at, after you. Yeah, after, if you feel amazing after you've played a game, after you've completed the game, then you're just going, that's the feeling you're going to remember whenever you remember that game. That first time you beat the game and you felt amazing. If it sneaks up on you, you'll feel a little snuck up on and it'll just be weird. Alright, well, after that little progress bar thing, this is me, Thrasho2, saying, be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't. 